All right, welcome back, folks across the southeast, scrambling now to try and recover their homes, their pets, belongings, whatever remnants really they can in the wake of Hurricane Helene's complete devastation. West, Western North Carolina, one of the hardest hit areas, thousands of lives upended there by catastrophic flooding. You're seeing pictures now of the home of Delmas Williams. Delmas lost just about everything from the look and sound of things. He's now trying to look forward in the hopes of eventually rebuilding. Delmas joins us now to talk about this devastating experience. I see, is that Diane? Welcome to the, both wife. of you. Thank you so much for yeah. taking time with us. Thank this you. must be incredibly difficult. Um, just want to hear about what you've been going through, what you have seen and heard and experienced the last, I don't know, is it six days now? It feels like forever. It, it does feel like for, forever, but it happened so quickly. The water rose so quickly from both creeks um, that within minutes, our house was four foot in, it was four foot of water in our house. Wow. And my wife and my granddaughter had to be rescued from the back of the house. Oh and um, I was trying to, there was a lady next to us by herself and she was standing at the back door. So I was trying to tell her there's help on the way. They wouldn't let me go over there because the water was so deep. But um, is your granddaughter everything got okay? soaked. In. They're both fine. They got them out with a canoe. Oh, thank God. So, yes. We're, a we're, local fireman. Yeah, a local fireman, Leslie Marsh, a good friend of ours. <laughs> Oh, um, well, if you, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. If you want to take a break, you know, don't feel pressured to um, to keep going. Um, We're fine. It's, it must be I just want to say one thing. Um, Please. Um, we, we were trying to clean it up ourselves, but you have to get it out quicker. You, you're just going to lose everything. Yeah. And uh, Samaritan's Purse sent 50 people over here and gutted our house for us and saved our house. You know, our, our, our home church, you know, The Rock, and, and they've been bringing us food. Uh, wow. Pastor Casey and Michael, they're bringing food and helping in any way they can. And, you know, I'm just, God's good. And, you know, we're not, we're not hurt, but it's just going to be a long, long road back if we can, if we can build it back. A long road, but if you have all of that support and it sounds like, a, you know, a wonderful, loving family, you're better equipped to do it maybe yeah. than most of us. Um, what are you, what's an immediate first step for you guys? Like, what are you hoping to achieve in the coming hours before it gets dark out today? Well, they're, they're, they're still cutting what they call a mud out. They, they go halfway up the sheetrock and cut it out. And when they get through, Samaritans first told us it would be contract ready, which means we could start building back. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So, but we didn't have flood insurance, so it's, it's the expense is on, going to be on us, so we're going to have to figure out how we're going to do that. But, um, th I mean, I'm, as bad as it was for us, I know there's other people that are even worse. And we've had, down the road here, we had a, a neighbor get killed in her house. So oh my goodness. Um, we're just thankful we're all alive. And what about your, I'm so the, sorry about your neighbor. Where are your, you know, the any belongings you have managed to salvage that are not part of your house? You know, your personal, any personal effects? Where are all those those things? Um, we, we got a few shoes, a few clothes, um, not a whole lot. I mean, can we look around and I'll show you what's what's left? I mean, that they, they took out of the house. Can we pan around? Okay. Let's see if our photog, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. And, okay. And it, it, they wow, had to get it out so we something. could save the house. Wow. But all the neighbors here are in the same situation. It's just well, we, devastation. Of course, of course. Um, you know, we are obviously thinking of you. We're praying for you. Um, I can't imagine how incredibly hard it is to come on national TV in the middle of what you're going through to enlighten all of us. But it, it really is helpful to see what is happening there on the ground. So thank you both, um, yeah. Delmas and Diane. And please stay in touch with us. If we can be helpful to you, we would love to be. Okay. Th thank you. And it gives us a, a, a place in our heart when you actually see people show up like this out of their own goodness to help you out. But thank you. Well, you know what? What's next for you guys, do you think, before I let you go, if you don't mind my asking? Meaning, do you think that you're going to get the house rebuilt and move back in? Or do you think you might try and move somewhere else? We'll or have you not even gone that far yet in your minds? 
we, we we've not even thought that far. If if, if we can rebuild, we I think we will because this was a hundred year flood. I mean, it, this won't happen again while I'm alive, probably. So. Yeah. Yeah. We've we've, we've lived here forty years. Yeah. So. And hope, you know maybe you'll live there another forty. You survived this, so it seems like, you know, you can probably quite literally survive anything. Um, give your family a hug from yeah. us, and thank you guys so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, Delmas and Diane. Well, Fox Corporation has made a donation to the Red Cross's Hurricane Helene relief efforts. Also continues to be an annual disaster giving program partner with the Red Cross, which enables them to respond immediately to disasters just like Helene by providing safe shelter, hot meals, emotional support for fo folks. Um, if you want to help, you can visit redcross.org slash Fox Forward, or you can scan the QR code that's right there on the side of your screen to join us in the effort.